Today I show you how you can change the display settings on Samsung Galaxy S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra so it's easier to read. First of all, turn on dark mode. The dark mode. Try the dark mode. It's not it's not such a scary thing and it makes the battery life longer on your phone and also it looks very interesting. Easier to read especially in the dark much better than the light mode also adaptive brightness should be on so it adjusts another thing the eye comfort shield very important i believe to use this in adaptive so that it's automatically changing makes the screen a bit yellowish makes the blue reduces the blues the blues Enhanced comfort seems to make the gray a bit lighter, so you has have less contrast. Reduces the color contrast also here. Yeah, that's what I think it's doing. So you don't have deep darks on the dark mode, especially. And here with the color temperature, if I show it to the extreme, you see it's actually it's just making the screen a little bit less blue. It's reducing the blue when you have it on adaptive. On custom here I just wanted to show you what it's actually doing because the camera will adjust to the color. In adaptive you will have it in the evening a little bit more yellowish. Nice case, I like this leather camel case. Has the pockets openings for the charging port a bit wider and yeah I like how it looks like. Also, you can change the screen resolution to WQHD. By default, it comes in Full HD for some reason. Change this to natural. The color of the display, by default, is vivid. Bright colors, everything bright, ultra bright. Natural. Try natural. Vivid. Natural. Vivid. Natural, vivid. Natural vivid. Natural vivid. Especially in combination with the automatic scene setting on the camera and the natural disabling the scene detect setting in the camera and with the natural screen, the pictures you take will look more natural, more normal, not so much super enhanced and everything. Here you have a lot of settings for vivid to adjust the colors. And it's good to have options. Leave it on natural. I leave it on natural for now. You can always try it the vivid again. The pictures will look as you took them. I mean, it depends on the place. Also on the camera settings, if you have automatic scene detection, it will make the colors more bright for uh, nature, greens and the blues of the sky. I also disabled that. So, yeah. The brightness, it's always good to have automatic brightness and uh, there is one thing when you change from between the vivid and natural, the eye comfort shield setting is reset. So if you do change from vivid to natural and you want to use the eye comfort shield, you should re-enable it. Look what's happening. When I change it to vivid, it's disabled. I guess it's to preserve the color accuracy. It's really, I believe it's more important to have uh, not so much blue light in the evening, so eye comfort shield is useful. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any favorite settings.